Okay, so here we're in Sad Default Matrix Pro and uh, I loaded HDR image. The reason is why um, I like process because it will provide with some shadows. Notice right here we have a problem with the clouds and you come with um, kind of decision. Do you want to re-render, spend more time or we actually can very easy to fix the side of Photoshop. So let's go ahead. Just couple adjustments. I think we're all actually darker. We're going more tonal color compression. We'll go apply this image. And we'll just go save this as well. Okay, now inside the Photoshop, let me um, scale so we can see. We have it our PSD file, and we also have it as our TFF file that we just created. Okay, we'll go. Be sure it's locked. Here you go. Go create mask inverse, and we can take bright. Okay, a white color, ten percent opacity, and we can just slightly paint in some of those elements. a little bit okay so let's look on this we have a problem right here with the clouds control shift alt e take all visible layers and combine them together so next we'll go to filter no ways and we'll go to dust and scratches okay notice what's happening right here we actually smoothing out quite a bit. Okay, we'll go ahead, click OK, make another uh, mask on this layer, inverse, and now we can use it same white brush to paint in those elements. So again, we don't necessarily want to paint everywhere, but just on the clouds. And you'll notice also it says um, little bit faster than just render so we don't necessarily need to re-render everything of course if you don't have Photoshop or other ones you can do similar things but what does it re reduce some of that noise and there we have it our clouds now look smooth okay, we can also if you need it you can go around add a little bit maybe on the water or all slightly elements but I think this okay now let's look before and after you can see how we make it look a little bit smoother we lost some maybe sharpness right here on the plants and if you want you can always reverse black and just paint back some of the sharpness but I think that does look nice okay let's go now actually create another Control Shift Alt E, Command Option Alt E on the Mac. Um, well, goal is Global Dodge and Burn. You go to Image, Adjustment, we'll go to Black and White. And right here, I want to actually bring darker on the elements. So this way, we are creating with soft light, we want to just enhance shadows. And you can see how darker I make on this one. Next, we'll go image adjustment, shadow highlights. Let's set 11, 11. Okay. And we'll take amount and increase on both to 100%. And now playing with a tone, we can bring down here and maybe just clouds just overall. And let's switch this to the soft light. 
you can see before and after. How much it's added. It did enhance details, another element. So now I want to actually add clouds or fog. Go create right here. Brush, left click. And we can just create soft round brush. Okay, we want to uh, white, 100% opacity. You can just create You know what? Let me undo the path that I accidentally do. So right here, just create kind of like almost fog in this area. Also, we can just add next. We'll go to filter, blur, and then blur on this. And we'll just add slightly like so we have it elements kind of visible let's go switch to this soft light here you can see we add already kind of fog we can repeat it a little bit more with this as well just a little bit longer Okay, we'll go again a filter uh, blur blur a little bit a little bit less on this this we can also apply distortion if you want it and wave will work very good with this or we can apply other elements but i think overall this look good and we don't have it soft light we'll just take and bring up a little bit like this <clears throat> okay and next let's add some color correction to this and i'm going to create the curve switch this curve to the color mode blue channel will bring all the way shadows and take down okay now we'll take red It's a little bit strong. Let's go take coloring just a little bit around this area. Okay, let's create another curve. We'll switch to luminosity. And I just overall want to bring a little bit less on contrast. So it's look more swampy. Bit of adjustment so overall colors okay so right here we have it so the colors coloring one fork second fork we have a global dodge and burn maybe it's a little bit actually too strong let's bring down a little bit notch around there and one more thing so i want to add so we'll go create a gray 50% layer. We'll go to filter, noise, add noise. We'll just add about 18%. Let's click OK here. Actually, you know, let's make normal size. We'll switch to soft light. Notice it is at the noise, but we'll take down and just add a little bit grain. Just to flatten a little bit. Okay. So, and right here you can see our image we modified. Before and after. Just to add a little bit touch to our picture. Thank you for watching this tutorial. And if you're interested for more, visit us on www.geekatplay.com. And again, this is just example of tutorial how you can use it at Fisher Village. And this model is available for you on a 
uh, Gumroad and Geek at Play website. Thank you.